Hey everybody, how are you? So long time no see. It's pretty crazy because the last video I made I think I had like 50 subscribers and I logged on the other day and it was like 112 or something and I was like holy sh I just want to say thank you guys. I'm so glad to have you guys here. Welcome to the Bella Boo. So before we get started I want you guys to note like you guys are going to be like you're telling us what to use on our skin when you have pimples on your face. These little red spots that you see, the only pimple I have is this right here. These things that you see are scars because I like to pop my zits and I have nails and I've learned that not to do that. Take two q-tips and squeeze. It won't scar your face, it won't scratch your face or anything like that. But alright, enough of that. Let's get started. What I use first is the Top Care Apricot Scrub. It is a facial scrub, obviously, and I use this, um, I only use this like two to three times a week, but it says you can use three to four times a week. Uh, I would, you definitely don't want to use this seven days a week. This can actually cause breakouts, or at least I know that it does for me because it will start to irritate my skin. But this is really good um, for getting all of that dead skin off. St. Ives has the same one. This was just like a cheaper version. It's like a dupe of that. This is the same thing though. Whenever I'm done using it, I can feel that my skin feels years younger and smooth and all that dead skin is gone. Sometimes when I spray tan and stuff, I get really, really dry skin. I do not recommend using this though if you do have a spray tan on because it's obviously going to scrub off your spray tan. If you're one of those people that don't mind because you're like, I'm going to put makeup on anyway, it's going to cover it up and I'm not going to have, you know, discolored skin, then go right ahead but I do not recommend this for spray tans. So getting into the face washes, the next step I would do after that, you can basically leave that face scrub as your cleanser and scrub if you want, but I like to use my um, Top Care Skin Cleanser for all types. And this is just a dupe for Cetaphil. It's just a very, very soft, uh, natural face wash. Um, there's really nothing that's harsh in it. It's not to like it's not for acne or like it doesn't have any of that medicine in it that could potentially irritate your skin so after I'm done with washing my skin with the top care skin cleanser aka the Cetaphil knockoff I will then tone my face now they have so many toners in the world of products beauty products and skin care line but skin care lines but I stick with the good old witch hazel and you can get this at CVS or Rite Aid or whatever your local pharmacy or drugstore is. It's general relief for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. Now, that doesn't mean that you can only use this if you have those side effects or those problems with your skin. 100% natural astringent gently cleanses and conditions skin without removing the essential moisture. So it's not going to completely dry you out. That's a problem that I have with a lot of toners. I think it was like a Neutrogena one or something like that and it just it made my skin so dry like did you ever use a toner that when you're done with it it's like your skin feels real tight and it's like no I definitely recommend the witch hazel so after that I then like to moisturize my face and I have found the greatest moisturizer in the world I stand by it I will never leave it it is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Consistency is not gel-like at all. It goes on, like you can't even see that that's on. It goes on very smooth and it soaks into the skin like that. Um, I really love that it keeps me from being oily. Like I even, I use this in the summer as well and I'm never oily and this, oh, I just, I love this. After that, I then use the Life Cell Self Beach Skin Care. That's the line, Self Beach Skin Care line. And this is a all-in-one anti-aging treatment. Now I'm only 24 years old, but I figure there's no harm in preventing the wrinkles and the aging now while I still can. And this is a fast-acting, anti-wrinkle and intensive firming, 24-hour hydration, under-eye treatment, antioxidant, and dehyperpigmentation. Energizes skin, resulting in it looking, feeling, and being looking and feeling firmer and smoother. And what this does, this stuff works, like, so quickly. It's kind of like those, 
uh, makeup primers that you would use. Like it gives you that kind of finish, that like real smooth finish, that like the baby skin from Maybelline or the Benefit Pore Professional or like those makeup primers that you use. It kind of has that consistency and it goes on and it is amazing. I've noticed um, I have a wrinkle on my forehead. You can't really see it because of this. I put it all over my face and down on my neck, but I mainly focus it on my forehead, under my eyes around my mouth where, where you get those like laugh lines, those parentheses, and then I put it here where you get those, these, yeah, put those, the number 11s. I definitely recommend this. The cool thing that I like about this is that you have to activate it with your fingers. You have to make sure it's warm first and then you put it on. I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, it is true to its word. It says, as you apply onto clean, dry skin, you will instantly feel the soothing effect of life cell. And you really do. So. After the life cell, I then do like to use another eye treatment. Um, I'm very, I'm trying to not be, but I'm very rough whenever I apply my makeup and stuff and my beauty blender, I do sometimes tend to pull the skin and as we all know, that's what creates the wrinkles and will look like this. But this is the a new Clinical Eye Lift Pro and I've used this for about three years now and my boyfriend was even like, you don't have crow's feet, you have no wrinkles around your eyes. And I, I, I really don't. Um, and it's because of this stuff. So it comes like this. It has a little shield right there so that it doesn't get everywhere. And what I suggest you do when you first get this is you will see that you have like product on the lid. I like to use the stuff that's on the, pro the lid first. But that's just me and my opinion. But it looks like this. The white side you use for under your eyes, the white cream, and then the orange cream is what you use on your eyelids. This stuff literally works amazing. You do not need to use a lot at all. A little goes a long way. So yeah, that's basically that. What this is, it looks like this. What the hell? I want you guys to be able to like see what it looks like. You can kind of see through there. It's just this clear liquid, and then there is this... Uh, acne medicine at the bottom so you would take this off it looks like calamine lotion honestly you would take that off you'd stick a q-tip in there you would dip it in there you would get some of the pink stuff on the uh, q-tip I almost said you get the pink stuff on the stick but we won't go there do not shake your solution you do not want uh, this to be all mixed up. It's supposed to be separated. So do not shake it. Do not let it fall over or anything like that or you will ruin it. This is quite pricey also. It is sold at Nordstrom's or you can get it online. Before when you feel, because I have some pimples going on right here. I don't know if you can see them. But before you would even pop them or anything like that, you would just put this stuff right on it. I am going to do this whenever I'm done with this video. And it will dry that pimple out like before it's even created, before the head is even at the surface. And you will be left with clear skin. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up, subscribe. Bye, guys. That's weird. The same thing as the St. Ides. It's just, is it Ides or Ives? Because <laughs> one of them is a, <laughs> one of them is a malt liquor. Yeah, you scared me. Do you like the chicken on my shirt? And I'm probably like the sexiest beauty guru around town. I don't know. Nicole Guerra, Guerra I can't even pronounce your name, and Carly Bible. Girls, look out, I'm coming for ya. Okay, the, they're my top two favorites, so I use them.